Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Computer Hobbyist. Today I want to uh, show you how to change the mouse pointer on your game. You may have the regular mouse pointer and when you go over bu buttons with your mouse or over like active links or something, you may want it to turn into a hand. So let me show you how to do that. It's actually pretty easy. Essentially what you're doing is you're causing the regular mouse pointer to disappear and then in its place you're just placing an image on the location of where the mouse is pointing at. But let me show you how to do it. So first you'll, you'll have added your first two assets. Uh, here I'm using Goblin 2 as this is just the thing where I'm going to use when the mouse goes over to turn into a hand. And here's the actual mouse cursor, the new one. There's the hand. So here we're going to have to add some fields. Private texture 2D mouse hand. Private texture 2D goblin. Private vector 2 goblin coordinates. This will be the location of where the goblin is on the screen. private int goblin length, that's the length of one of the goblin sides. And private bool hand visible. And then we're gonna have a field that's the mouse state. If you notice here in your game, game one constructor, it always has is mouse visible is true. That's why your mouse is always visible when you first start the game. So later on, we'll set that to false when the mouse is over the goblin. So on the initializers, some stuff we want to put there. There's a few things I want to put in the load content too, but let's start here. Goblin coordinates. We'll put this at 300, 300. how long each side is and hand visible equals false all right so now we're gonna to go to the load content here mouse hand equals content that load texture 2d And then we're going to do the goblin too. This one's a texture also. Goblin two. And any other things I need to load? I think that's it. So let's go down to the update now. We're going to have to make some mods there. So we want to get the mouse state on each update. So mouse state will equal mouse.getState. And then we're going to call something to um, check whether the mouse is on top of the goblin or not. We'll just call it handle input. All right, so we got to create that uh, method. I'll just make it a private method. Nothing's going to use it. Else is going to use it. Private void handle update. Or excuse me, handle input, I meant. All right. Let 
this is the long line here. So basically you're just checking here if the X coordinates is within the X uh, coordinate and the length of the goblin, and the same with the Y coordinates. So you're just checking if it's within the area represented by the goblin. So if mouse state that X, oops, spelled that wrong. is greater than or equal to goblin coordinates dot x and I'll state that x is less than or equal to goblin coordinates that x plus goblin length State that y is greater than or equal to goblin coordinates that y and mouse state that y is less than or equal to goblin coordinates that y plus goblin length. So if all that is true, then and visible becomes true, and is mouse visible equals false. Otherwise, and visible equals false, or is mouse visible equals true. All right, so the last thing we gotta do is to draw now. So let's start the sprite batch here. Sprite batch that begin, I think we want front to back, because I use layer depth always. Something I learned the hard way, you should always use layer depth. All right, I'll sprite batch that draw goblin at goblin coordinates. Uh, rectangles just null. Color that white, even though it doesn't really need it, but you have to put it in there anyways. This one's rotation, so rotation is zero radians and then the origin is vector 2 dot 0 and the scales next so 1.0 F spray effects that none and layer depth of 0 0.1 float all right, and if the hand is visible, then we're going to draw the hand. All right, so the texture is mouse hand, and the location is new vector 2, mouse state that x. state that y no color that white scale is still one And this is going to be uh, printed at the total top. That's why it's at 1.0 F for the layer. 
All right, that should be everything. Let's run it and see if it runs. Ah, my mistake. I forgot to put sprite batch that end. <laughs> should run theoretically of course all right so as you see when the mouse is not on the goblin it's just a pointer and when it goes on the goblin it's a hand so it's that easy not much code at all to change this from a pointer to a hand hope this helps you guys out have a good evening